I'm gonna show you guys how to go from this to this. Let's get started. So you wanna start off with just foundation on your face, nothing else. I don't have any bronze or no contour, no concealer under my eyes. You can see my ugly bags under my eyes. So I'm taking this Avon Cream Stick Concealer in the shade light. Uh, you wanna use a concealer that's at least two shades lighter than your foundation. Nothing extreme, just something light under your eyes so that it can be brightening. I like to map out the concealer under my eyes and um, I like to do this triangle method. You don't have to do it. Um, I like doing it so you can manipulate it into your own liking. Um, you also want to highlight and conceal the side of your nose so that way you can hide that shadow um, from what you saw just there. Like I had like the dark around my nose um, because I have a wide nose. but. Um, the trick to having a slimmer nose is to highlight and to contour your nose instead of having to do like plastic surgery not that I'm against it but um, yeah so just map out under your eyes and now I'm gonna just also map out um, on my forehead even though I, I don't have to because I have a huge forehead um, but this is like great for anyone that has a small forehead you want to conceal and draw the concealer on your forehead and I drew a line on my the bridge of my nose and on my cupid's bow so that those areas can be highlighted and I like to do um, I like to conceal on my chin and the side of my jawline so that they can stand out as well and make the contour stand out the most. I'm going to take this contouring blush and bronzing cream and I'm taking the bronzer with the e.l.f. foundation brush and I'm just picking up some of that product and I'm just going to outline the bronze cream, cream bronzer, sorry about that. <laughs> uh, the cream bronzer on my jaw and my cheekbones and I like to make like a curve right where my cheeks are at so that I can emphasize and bring out my cheekbones a little more um, that's in another trick that I like to do as well and um, yeah I'm just checking out where else I have to bronze so I'm also bronzing the temples um, and I also bronze not bronze contour my nose this is really bad um, for like this kind of brush you want to use a smaller brush to contour your nose um, and I also do my jawline and I go back to my temples and my forehead so that I can deepen the bronzer since I have a huge forehead and I go back and bronze even more on the on the hairline where um, so that it doesn't just stop So I take a damp beauty blender and I blend out the concealer only. I don't use it for the bronzer and I like using the damp beauty blender because it gets right in the areas like my nose and my under my eyes and it just gives like a flawless, a, not flawless, wow, a flawless finish. So yeah, just blend that out and if you don't have a beauty blender then you, you can use any other brush. I like using the stippling brush from e.l.f cosmetics and I just blend all of the concealer out um, first it doesn't matter which way you do it you can just do the bronzer blend out the bronzer first and then the highlight but I like doing the highlight first because that way everything just goes together it's cohesive it doesn't look like it's just stopping I'm now taking the Real Techniques contour brush I believe and I'm just gonna blend out the bronzer and you want to make sure you get in your hairline um, don't worry I'm gonna blend everything out all together and I, I swear I make like the weirdest faces when I'm like blending out my contour um, so I go back with the stippling brush and I just um, map out not map out 
I just go back with the sibling brush and I blend everything out because it kind of gets messy, especially with creams. Um, so yeah, like I said before, I just blend everything out because you want it to like come together in harmony. You don't want it to just look like bronzer and then highlight. So I'm taking the Ben Knight Luxury Powder and Banana and I basically lock the concealer in and I go back with a bigger brush to conceal the con to lock the concealer. You can take any bronzer. I'm, I use the NYC Sunny Bronzer to bronze even more and to give more color to my face and to lock the bronzer in. And I also take it down to my neck so that it doesn't look like I have a mask on my face. So you can do that as well and yeah just more bronzer now I'm taking some blush and I'm gonna add that to the cheeks and I like to add a little bit of blush like some light blush not something heavy but it's your preference if you want to use a darker blush so now I'm taking this essence eyeshadow and I like to highlight the top of my cheekbones to give it like some nice reflect and I like to take it to the bridge of my nose and there you go. I hope you enjoyed this contour highlight video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye.